What's up YouTube? Brandon here. You're watching the Scale Racing Channel. Glad to have you with me tonight. We're going to unbox and take a quick look at all six cars in the new Matchbox Cadillac set. Uh, day before yesterday, picked these things up off the pegs at my local Walmart. So if they're not at your Walmart just yet, hold on, they'll be there shortly. Let's get into them. The first car we're going to take a look at is a 2015 Cadillac Escalade. Car 1 out of 12. This one right here has the Cadillac emblem on the card art. The card art looks pretty nice as a matter of fact. Look at the back. And there's your barcode. Okay. This one appears to have kind of a uh, it's it's like a mineral a metallic mineral look to it um, it's not quite a gunmetal it's got a little bit of brown in it I'm not gonna call it metallic brown either it does have the chrome wheels kind of an off-road style wheel but not really this one does have tampos for your front headlights of course you've got the Cadillac emblem in the grill uh, it does have painted fog lights down there as well this one with a smoked uh, windshield looks like it's got a black interior and you've got full tampos on the rear tail lights everything very nice this one with a plastic base this Cadillac was first seen as a mainline release in 2018 in the MBX road trip series in a dark metal flake gray and then one more time in the City Adventure 2.5 pack in pearl white and also this one will be in the next release of Cadillacs as car number seven, I believe. But full tampo work front and rear looks really, really good. The color, uh, I'm gonna call it like a mineral gray, metallic, looks really good on this uh, particular truck. So yeah, this was a nice version of this vehicle. Car number two out of this set is a Cadillac CTS Coupe. They're using basically the same card art with the exception of the individual car that is actually inside of the packaging. Back is going to be the exact same with the exception of the barcode. Alright, this is going to be in a metal flake silver. It's got the split 10 spoke wheels. And this one has full tampo work on the grill, headlights, and fog lights. Totally clear windshield with a black interior. And this one also has full decos on the rear of the car. And this one has a plastic base as well. This casting debuted in the main line in 2011 in the VIP collection in a silver, very similar to this car right here. It's also available in a 10 pack that same year. Released again in 2014 and lastly in 2016. So it's been a little while since we've seen this casting, but uh, the Tampa work front and rear is very nice to have on this model. Car three out of this set, the 1975 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Same artwork on the card, with the exception of the model of the car, of course. Everything on the back should be pretty much the same. And there's your barcode. This car in a dark metallic orange. Uh, it's not super bright, but it's a good looking color. Red interior with a slightly smoked windshield. You got full tampa work going down the sides. You've got the Cadillac emblem in the rear fender. You've got the disc wheels. And this one has no tampa work in the front or the rear. And this one has a chrome plastic base. This Eldorado is a new model release for Matchbox debuting in this set. It does have a 2020 copyright date molded into the base. 
Uh, I like the orange. Uh, I'm not too fond of the red interior with the orange. I think maybe a, a white interior would have looked a little better, but uh, great detail on the grill and on the back. Unfortunately, no tampos front or rear. All you get are the side tampos, but very nice casting. Not a really big car compared to the other ones, but uh, very detailed and uh, good looking car. Car number four out of the set, the 1963 Cadillac Ambulance. Same artwork on the front with the exception of the actual car. I must say the artwork of the car itself looks really, really good. Let's look at the back. And there's your barcode. This car is coming to us with a solid red paint job has tampo work on each side, clear glass all the way around. Looks like it's got a silver interior. Of course, you've got some detailing in the interior. Looks like you've got a, a stretcher over on one side and I don't know what's on the other side. Nice detail work on the sides. Everything is nice and crisp. You can read everything well. Of course, being side tampoed, you're not going to get anything in the front or rear. But the grill has nice detailing on it as the rear bumper does as well. And you've got the uh, little siren light on top made out of the same material as the window glass. You've got the dish style wheels. And this one has a chrome plastic base. This Cadillac ambulance was designed by Ryu Asada. It was first released as a mainline in 2009 and had quite a few paint variations every year until 2013. In 2015, they retooled the casting. They removed some of the metal out of the roof and replaced it with the same plastic they're using for the windshield and the side glass. And the 2010 Lesney edition is probably my favorite version of this car in the orange and white, but I must say that the deco work on this car plus the paint job itself looks really, really nice. Car number five in this set is the 1969 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Same artwork, different car on the front. All the info should be the same on the rear. There's your barcode. This car is coming to us in a pale yellow paint job. Uh, there's no metallic in this paint whatsoever. Interior looks about the same color as the exterior paintwork. Smoke windshield and rear glass. This one you're going to have tampo work on the side. Plus you've got your tail lights. You've got the Cadillac emblem tampoed in the rear. And chrome grill and headlights. No tampo work on the front. It's got the Tri-Y wheels with a chrome plastic base. The DeVille debuted in 2008 as a mainline in the Heritage Classics collection, and it's been released as a super fast Lesney edition, and most recently in 2016 as a best of matchbox model. Both the Lesney and the best of matchbox models look very nice. And this one right here, not too bad. I like the vintage style paint, plus you've got the side and the rear tampos on it. So very good looking model. Car number six out of this set is the 1941 Cadillac Series 62 Convertible Coupe. Same car art with the exception of the model of the car. And there's a look at the back. This car coming to us in a solid gloss black. You've got tampo works on the side. Nothing in the back. You got the base making up your chrome bumper in the rear. More side decos, plus you've got headlights and grill detailing tampoed in the front. The window glass is a smoke gray and the convertible top is made out of that same material. Looks like you've got a dark red interior. This one with the disc style wheels and a whoops, chrome plastic base. 
41 Cadillac was a new model released in 2020 and it debuted as a mainline in the MBX City Collection. Originally it was a metallic green, it was released not too long ago and the top was down on that version. We've got the top up on this one and it does have the very nice looking paintwork. I like the red interior, the wheel combination with the black and the silver tampos on the side makes this a very nice looking Cadillac. Okay, that concludes the new Matchbox Cadillac set. And as usual, I'll pick a favorite out of these guys. And I'm not going to lie, this one's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, the modern castings over here, the detailing on them, uh, I really like. I like the color of the Escalade. Um, the Eldorado, I think, could be... Uh, I think it would look better with a, a different colored interior than what they've got right now. Also, it just seems like the casting is a little bit small compared to the rest of them. Uh, grill detailing is really nice on that car though. Um, the ambulance. The ambulance looks awesome. It's... <laughs> the tampo work on the side. It's crisp. It looks good. Uh, the colors work, I think. The wheels work with this car also. Um, yeah. The DeVille. I've always been a fan of the DeVille. It's nice with all of the tampa work you get on it nothing in the front unfortunately but since it's got you know the chrome grill and everything it, it kind of it's forgivable it's very nice and of course the uh the black with the silver uh detailing on the 1941 cadillac is very nice as well it's unfortunate though that this top is um yeah, it's it's the same material as as the uh, windshield. That's if it was full on black, this would probably take it for me. However, um, wow, this is tough. It's it's going to be one of these two right here. It's tough. Uh, I'll go ahead and give it to the ambulance, I guess, just because the uh, I don't know all the colors work on this car. Yep. I guess that's gonna have to take it let me know in the comments down below which one you think is the best out of this mix again they should be hitting the stores here shortly uh, so keep your eye out for them and um, that's all I've got for you tonight y'all stay healthy have fun collecting